Yo, it's almost that time of the season. It's almost Thanksgiving. You're gonna wanna be around your family. You're gonna wanna eat turkey, dressing, and mac and cheese. Honestly, I don't eat everybody macaroni and cheese. What up, it's your boy Black with Black TV where we do reviews and hip hop news. Today, we're gonna be reviewing French Montana's Mac and Cheese Food. French Montana been having a lot of problems with this project right here. It's like it's been pushed back, it's been leaked, it's been put in stores on accident. Now he wanna make a mixtape out of it, which I think is a great idea for as far as the situation he's been in with mac and cheese for. Let's talk about the cover. The cover, man, the cover is really dope. You can actually tell the contrast in the picture. I like the little light hit this little side eye, whatever. I think this is very original and very dope. Let's talk about my likes. What I really like about this project and what I really appreciate French Montana is that he actually tried to bring back the 80s and 90s feel on this mixtape. Like, I'm a fan of the old 90s and 80s hip hop and I commend French Montana on trying to accomplish his goal with Mac and Cheese 4. The first song, come on, it's called I'm Ready. Like, it has a little interlude where it's actually, he's actually telling about karma living by the sword, dying by the sword. I thought that was really dope and I actually thought this was gonna be a French Montana project I was really gonna like. My favorite song is the single No Shopping with Drake. The reason I picked this song is because Drake finally responded back to Joe Budden after all the backlash Joe Budden been trying to throw at Drake, trying to diss Drake. All he did was say one line, but it's the simple fact that he went back at Joe Budden with this song. I don't think it should have been a single, but it's my favorite song on the project. Let's talk about my dislikes. French Montana tries to sing entirely too much. French, you're not a singer, bro. You're not a singer. And it's not, it doesn't have enough lyrical content. Like he's talking about the same old, same old stuff. Talking about street life, you know, selling drugs, whatever. I want to hear some more actual stuff that you can be versatile and showcase as you being an artist and quit trying to sing. My worst song on this project is a song called Check Me. It just seems like he's just complaining, complaining. He's not even rapping. It's like he just nagging on and on. I don't like the beat. I don't like nothing on this song. Like, I don't want to even, even understand why he even put this on Mac and Cheese 4 because it's this song is very irritating. The beginning of the song was okay. The skit was okay, but it was very unnecessary to put it in there. But, you know, it is what it is. So... Let's rate this baby. I'm gonna rate it a six out of 10. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. It doesn't have a lot of replay value, but you know, it, it's, it, it doesn't suck, but it's not for me. I'm not a French Montana fan. If you're a French Montana fan, you're gonna think this project's mediocre. I, I can see a lot of flaws in it, but hey, that's just me. So what do you think about French Montana's Mac and Cheese 4? Do you like it? Do you think it's bumping? Do you think French Montana can actually sing? Like this video, comment, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to Black TV. Until next time, I will hop.